What up guys, Sharth Tommy Cherian, owner and founder of HipHopDX.com. Uh, I'm in New York City meeting with a bunch of the record labels and uh, I think some really interesting information is sort of coming out every, you may or may not know over the last year, streaming services have sort of started picking up again. The labels aren't necessarily as concerned about their business model because streaming seems to be bringing in as much revenue as uh, used to. Uh, as uh, CDs used to and so they're really looking to streaming to be the future of their business and so it's kind of exciting because they're they're willing to sort of try new things and figure out what's going on but at the same time they're they're looking at social as one of their bigger sort of pushes um, and one of the things I kind of wanted to go back on because I know this doesn't necessarily 100% apply to the artists who aren't signed, but it's to talk just about what a record label is and what the what the point of, what is their job in the, the ecosystem of putting music out. What you see, what you hear on the radio, what you see uh, on Vivo, uh, on YouTube, is controlled a lot by these major, major companies. And you gotta think of them as marketing arms. They're, that's fundamentally what they are. So their job is to get you in front of eyeballs. Uh, if you think of them that way, I think that's the best route to think of them as. And they play the same game as some of these venture capital companies in Silicon Valley. Uh, in Silicon Valley, what these venture capital companies do in the tech world is they go in and they buy up little pieces of a bunch of companies that they think might become billion dollar businesses. And only one of them is going to become a billion dollar business, if, if any. Uh, maybe a couple will be a hundred million. They'll be able to sell it off and make a ton of money. The rest for them can go to lay to waste. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, they're betting on the one, the two that are actually going to succeed. And the same thing goes with the record label. They do mean well, and they do want your success at heart. So don't think that these aren't hardworking people at these record labels trying to push acts, uh, get them on social, get them in front of the press. Uh, get them good placements. I mean, that's what they, they're there to do, and they care about you when you walk in the door. Uh, but if your music doesn't hit, it's hard for them to keep caring. Uh, for ex just going to an old school example, the Fugees is a best, really good example about this. Uh, Wyclef, you know, they put out some music, and it was not hitting at all uh, under Rough House. And they actually had to put out a, their own track and promote it themselves in order to get a second album. And when they saw the traction from that, uh, track is when they got the uh, got the album out uh, so again I want you guys to think of these guys as marketing arms to you so when you sign a deal with a record label yeah they're gonna want your publishing there or now they're trying to do 360 deals so they're gonna want to have half your touring half your publishing half your um, half your songs and then you usually on the other half but you have to think of these guys as marketing opportunities and if you're the one in eight people that they sign that year because I'm, I'm telling you now they're they're signing anywhere from five to eight nine artists a year and they're going to put their efforts in all of them and they're going to see which one of those eight actually work I, i'm actually going to even be uh be more poignant and tell you guys that they don't even know sometimes who's going to be a hit who isn't uh that's why they're signing eight different artists that they're they're trying it out they're seeing who's going to Who's going to be able to go into their distribution system? Uh, the distribution system also being radio play, getting on YouTube, Vivo, uh, as well as what I said earlier, a lot of the publications that are out there. They don't. I don't think they know either. And I think that they do their best. But once they have one hit on their hands, they're willing to bet more money and more time and effort uh, into that hit and continuously build from there. So was a big point of this conversation is that record labels are marketing opportunities for you guys but they're going to ask you to give up a lot in exchange to be part of that in exchange to use their marketing uh strength all right guys well that's it uh you can follow me at, at mr cherry and uh, twitter snapchat instagram and uh you know till next time and i'll keep uh bringing you as much information as i can